Hey there, this is Hannah from Miss Crater's second period. Today I'm here to talk about the many illusions present throughout the book Grendel by John Gardner. The illusions to Cain and Abel affect Grendel in many ways. The story leads to a moment of self-discovery for Grendel as he learns somewhat about why he is the way he is. In chapter 4, the Shaper tells a story of an ancient feud between two brothers which split the bond between darkness and light, and Grendel was the dark side. He said, in effect, the tale will race God cursed, page 51. This is the first time Grendel is learning anything remotely where he came from and why he's the way he is. Grendel doesn't take this lightly. He stood up, wriggling his face, letting tears run down his nose, page 51. He's distraught and confused, with the whirlwind of emotions coming his way. The story encourages Grendel to travel to the Mead Hall, groaning out, Mercy, peace. He wants to make peace with the people because now he knows he's cursed and he knows why he does what he does and feels the way he feels about the humans. The story of Cain and Abel helped develop the themes present throughout Grendel. Initially in chapter one, Grendel informs the readers that the only friend and comfort in this world affords is his shadow, page eight, which is the reader's insight on how isolated he is already from society. The initial introduction of Cain and Abel's story ultimately separates Grendel from the rest of society, even more because Grendel is the race that God cursed, 51. Grindel also says, even if I must be the outcast cursed by the rules of his hideous fable, 55. These two quotes both illustrate the pain of isolation and the power of a story. Grindel is so affected by the story that the Shaper tells that he then separates himself from the rest of society even more than before and begins to realize that he is even more alone in this world than he thought. Garner's use of the allusions to the zodiac signs in each chapter helps give the whole book structure while developing the plot and key points throughout the book. Chapter 1 is titled, Ares, the Ram. At the beginning of the chapter, the readers are presented with a ram that is fresh out of hibernation, an allusion back to the illusion of the zodiac sign. Grindel recognized the stupidity, five, of the ram as he acts a fool around Grindel's cave. The use of the ram allows the readers insight to Grindel's feelings towards nature and others. Chapter 2 is titled, Taurus, the Bull. And in this chapter, Grindel faces off with the bull and he realizes that the bull fought by instinct. From this realization, the readers are able to see how Grindel thinks, while Gardner was able to develop the plot further with the incident between Grindel and the bull. Throughout the rest of the book, Gardner alludes to the zodiac signs, and each chapter has a reference back to its zodiac sign, like the Libra and Waithlo, where she represents balance between many of each sides. Each reference is a key point in the chapter that helps in some way develop the plot further. The allusion to biblical verses, such as Psalms 23, helps characterize Grindel throughout the book. As Psalms 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd, I should not want. And in chapter 12, Grindel states that the world is his bone cave, he shall not want. As Grindel refers to the world and as his bone cave, the readers can see how he views the world. This takes place at the end of the book after Grindel's turn to the dark side, and people can just see how badly he actually turned and change. Grindel doesn't view the world as a place he lives anymore, but more as a place of food where he can eat humans and anything of that sort. Thanks for listening.